Hey, hey, hey! Wow, welcome! It is Tommy the Janitor here, back with another Monday update. Welcome, welcome, and welcome. Before we get to the Team Wars choices, as always, here are the um, the Team Wars packs of my four accounts that are playing the Team Wars videos. Um, um, we lost two um, fish sticks, sadly, uh, in, um, on, in the South Park. Uh, I say sadly because we always want to finish first place, but uh, I must say big ass kudos to you guys from Fish Dicks because you managed to get a whooping 105.87 score in average, uh, which is uh, insane. I mean, well played, you guys. It was, I, I looked it up, it was the fourth best uh, average in Gold League this, this week. Um, so big big shout out on oh, a shout out no shout out is not the right the right one but you know big kudos to you guys and gals from fish sticks uh, that is just that, that is a very very good score i must say i'm i'm saying this with a little tear in my eye because we didn't get first place but you know <laughs> big kudos um all right then i would say next up is the oh no to the team wars packs i had some luck uh, I think three legendaries. I mean, even if it is member pick on the small account, I don't, it's it's not too good. But I'm not gonna play him there, I, I, I believe. But um, in general, I'm kind of happy. I'm pretty happy. I mean, three legendaries, is very good. All right, next up, D. Um, play of the week. It's kinda, kinda, for me, it was that <laughs> that silly goose, the doggy, that just didn't want to move past my my units there. <laughs> Now just just look at that shit. I'm I'm a put it in here with uh, with live commentary. About yeah. Okay, you know you get the bar with the. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. You you got you got you got robbed. <laughs> He's such a silly goose, that doggy man. All right. <laughs> Good. All right. Yeah. And then let's check out the Team Wars choices, shall we? Um, got another Team Wars re ramp as uh, it's, it seems to become tradition. I don't think it's gonna change soon. Uh, we'll see about that though. This one is a Team Wars revamp from the 17th of January of this year. Um. Uh, the Zealot Bob uh, already mentioned it to me in the video um, of the Team War itself. It was my first, and, 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 and uh, attacked me there, commented on it. Um, it was the first Team War that I did with audio commentary. <laughs> Ain't that something, man? That, that takes me back. Dude, that's four months back almost. Uh, and it reminds me that I've been doing this with voice commentary for the last four months. And it's been, it's, it's cool. I, I, I really like, I really enjoy doing it with a live commentary. I don't I don't know if it, I think it was not live commentary back then. It was um, like uh, post-mortem I sat back then, I think. Um, I was always very nervous um, back then to do voiceovers and do, do, to do live commentary then some weeks later. But uh, it has, it, it, I'm not nervous at all anymore to speak to a monitor and to speak to you guys and gals from afar. <laughs> so, but uh, thanks for the support, for the continued support at, at this point. Um, that's, it's, it's really cool. I really enjoy doing the content here. Um, yeah, the choices. I remember, I mean, Catapult to me, my turn from first two is bad. Really not, not that great of a card. Um, Catapult to me is just he's slow as fuck he stays behind the push he's hard to kill um then these are because there's gonna be some tanky units in here um yeah some tanky units in here and the uh, witch doctor token is the the counter choice for uh, dragon slayer red and um as i used to say or as i always say uh if there is a pick between a card and a counter to the card always pick the counter because um, yeah, well, Witch Doctor token is useless if he's these are So yeah, always pick the counter. The counter is these are. Okay. Then Gunslinger Kyle, El Pistolero Kyle. Uh, definitely, most definitely, because uh, I mean, yeah, Robo Baby is doo doo. She's big doo doo. 
she dies to a lot of stuff uh, mostly she dies most importantly to poison I believe even at level 7 she does but I'm not too certain on that but at least to base uh, to max level 6 she I'm very 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 certain she dies to poison and um, Gunslinger Kyle from max 6 on doesn't I'm, I believe um, yeah then Ratatouille's because coming up is Mr. Kim Yes, we didn't. We, we, we are still here with Ned. Um, my team is picking Ned so far, but we are gonna change that. Um, I'm very, yeah, I'm, I'm very certain. Um, because Ned uh, also dies to poison, and there's no way of healing him once he gets poisoned, and then, yeah, then he's just dead. And that's it. Bye. <laughs> And Mr. Kim doesn't do a die to poison, and there's a lot of critters, for example, the ratatouille, the chicken coop, not the cows, we're not gonna blow up the cows. Um, I'm com coming back to this one later. Um, yeah, and forest monkey, but you need to be careful because forest monkey is still beefy, no, not beefy unit, but a good unit, so don't blow them up too, too soon. Um, but yeah, the rats of catapult Timmy, the rats here, the chicken coop, and then shady walk guy is gonna go crazy I would say all right then yeah chicken coop I mean uh, yeah there's too many critters around to uh, do good cock magic anyway so yeah chicken coop and for mr. Kim then Le Satan because if you pick if we pick mr. Kim can pick member pick because you blow him up with mr. Kim <laughs> Or you can't press the blow up button because you know you've got member pick on the field. Depends a little bit on how clever you are. I just know that I would blow up Miss member pick um, with Mr. Kim because I'm a fucking tail. Um, so yeah, just don't do it. And Satan, well, Satan is Satan. Satan is Satan. Um, and he just takes care of all the shit that comes at you. Most importantly, the cows. Um, which is why we didn't go with cows the last time. I'm very certain. Um, because cows just go, are completely useless if the opponent plays Satan and you want to reserve Satan for the cows I mean these are also wrecks them there's too many counters in here for the cows so Ruskies so and the bar Jimmy counters all this warm very well and then Jimbo I mean Scuzzle Booty is good but Scuzzle Booty again gets blown up by Mr. Kim and you don't want that because it costs 7 energy um, also Jimbo, yeah, Jimbo for, level, for 4 energy is very very good, then he boosts up like the Kyle, the Catapult Timmy, the, the Mr. Kim, that's good, um, but in general 4 energy for a lot of health on your tank is a very very good deal. Alright, then Mr. Darkpool, because there is a lot of swarm in this deck, yes, President Garrison does have a an AoE attack. It doesn't matter. Um, it really, really, really doesn't matter too much because his AOE damage is so fucking bad. <laughs> Jesus Christ! And yeah, the, the Dark Pool can uh, can put him right next to the opponents or right at the opponents. Jimbo or if uh, the Ned, if it's on your side of the field, he takes care of the chickens also with one hit, with the DSR, with the yeah, with uh, everything. He's a hard hitter. He costs two energy less. Yes, he can be swarmed easily, but if he gets too swarmed, I mean, yes, you can still take, take care of, uh, you can just put Lebard or something, or you, you will always have some sort of choice to, to, let's say, protect the dog, but you don't even need to protect him, really, because he's not worth it. But, um, President Garrison is just the worst choice, because, well, yes, his AOE attack, he ain't gonna kill the chickens. And uh, well, then his charge will hit, hit some fucking chicken. I remember last time the team war was up, my <laughs> president Garrison really fucked me over. And uh, like four times out of f five times, my opponents used the charge of president Garrison. They actually hit a unit that was quite valuable, but um, you know it's luck based, and I don't I don't like luck in, in team wars. So yeah. Um, yeah. So basically, that's it. Yeah, poison, as I said. Most importantly, get rid of the net, get rid of Bebe, get rid of Kalf, uh, Kalf, uh, the, Kalf the Pisoleo son, and yeah, well, Catapult Timmy, I believe. Catapult Timmy could die to poison uh, until, I believe, max level 5. Right, let me check that for a second. Yeah, map base, no base level 5, dies to level 6 poison. We made quite a nice chart last time. 
which does die to poison and which doesn't. Uh, and yeah, catapulted me to base level 5. Uh, what, what's it say here about Madam... Madam Robo Baby? Okay, max level uh, 6 dies to poison, 7 doesn't. And yeah, Gunslinger Kyle, as I was very certain, I'm sure now, <laughs> because it says here uh, in our chart that uh, Gunsling a cow max level 6 does not die to poison and that's good all right um yeah basically that's it that's that catapult Timmy there dragon slayer red El pistolero Kyle uh, Ratatouille's chicken coop Satan Jimbo Lebar Jemai Dark Pooh Mr. Kim poison and the forest monkey goodio then Turn over to the developer update. Alright, here we are. Developer update by weekly Sawichi. Welcome back to our new bi weekly dev update. Don't sell that to us like that's an improvement. Come on, Tyler. I mean, you, you're trying to do the best, but. Yeah. Um, that's. Don't, 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 don't try to sell it. Okay. It's, it's bad. It's not good. Okay, all the news and events for the next two weeks ready for you to go, ready for you to read. Let's check it out. Okay, the first week is a crafting event, a mission event for Kyle of the Drow Elves. Why are they gonna nerf this fucker, by the way? Because his charge is good enough as is. He doesn't need super good attack stats, you know. Anyways, then there's the, it, it looks to me like a card usage event for uh, Dark Pooh, and then there's a new Scott Malkinson card I'm seeing there. I mean, I saw the videos of it online already. Uh, it, it is here, it is Alchemist Scott Malkinson, he does have diabetes plus he, but he also does have a an area damage attack to mark targets and he marks targets. <laughs> this charge is that he marks for the three nearest enemy units in range and then he does area damage to them. And I, um, yeah, that's uh, like, um, you know. It's another legendary for energy for fantasy. Fantasy didn't have four legendaries so far. I believe it is the last theme to be left with three legendaries, and that changes now. Um, so yeah, I'm not quite sure what to say about it. These stats that I saw—did uh, you include the stats here? No, you didn't. The stats I saw in the video from uh, Capitano Filduro are quite insane I believe he has oh, something around 300 attack at max level 4 and Jesus Christ man that's insane just just as is and then he he adds the area attack damage it's and that's wow um, I mean he still dies I, I believe to ink and Craig or some stuff like that maybe mint berry crunch and both are kind of popular choices, most most importantly in the same deck. So we'll see about that. But um, he looks very insane at this point. I mean, they 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 are selling it to us. That that or not? They're selling it to us. But they are. It, it, it looks like the game could maybe be dying slowly. But then they might want to milk us. I don't know. Um, it just seems like um, they try to squeeze some some last money some last money out of us um i don't know he 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 looks cool but he looks kind of kind of kind of very strong we'll probably get to play him on the weekend event the weekend event is going to be for 125 points again very cool yeah super awesome uh we got alchemist Scott future randy rogue token swashbuckler red the emerging chicken coop blah 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 blah, blah. Um, stuff, a lot of fantasy stuff, so a lot of stalling, let's see about that, a lot of removal. Um, we'll see how he battles out, how he plays out the alchemist Scott Ruski. He does have diabetes. Yes. So uh, then the chaos deck for this week, that's gonna be rapid fire chaos mode. Our ranged fantasy characters will incre have increased speed as well. Oh, and he will be added to your chaos deck. Yeah, okay, that's that's normal. You always do that. Uh, please also note that chaos mode returns have been reset to the original prices again. 
Um, yeah, I would be interested if the, the price reducing um, did give you any more revenue. Um, if people actually refresh Chaos Mode more often than I did before. Um, I only did it because I needed bars for, K for, for the Battle Pass. And so I refreshed it on the Janitor and then the Adventure Lock. But 25 co uh, cash is not gonna make me buy cash. So yeah, I'm not too certain. Um, I don't know. I'm still thinking if you wanted to have people play Chaos Mode more often. You would have made it, or did something nice for the community. Where you would have would have made it free for entry and not just reduce the price for half. Um, yeah, blah blah blah. The event, the event totals in the what's it called in the Axel again. Then week two, there's the event still going on on what Monday? Is it going? No 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 no. Is it going to be longer? Monday will continue with the weekend event as expected to for an extended for an extra day. Okay, cool. So 125 points, but you get an extra day. That could be kind of cool. Well, I think it's it has been like this a lot of times. All right. Then the first new event of the week will begin on Tuesday with a quick 24 mission event, and there's Chaos Mode returning and a Scuzzle Booty Token Collection event at the same time. Oh, boy. A chaos mode will be the, the resistance, meaning all tank units will cost one energy point less than usual. All tanks. Okay, so then carpent for two energy. Oh, PC principal headhunter for three energy, dude. Mimsy, that's the important one. Mimsy of the bitch ass uppercuts for four energy. And the nuke it will have increased health. Okay, so that's a death for Mimsy, anyways. Okay. Um. <laughs> Alright, once the chaos dies down, once again we'll kick off a fresh weekend event themed around Frontier Bradley. Oh, dude, no. It's so annoying. Frontier Bradley events are annoying as hell. Blah, 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 blah. Bucketing baby, blah, 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 blah. I see. Yeah, Classy and Frontier is very annoying. If protected correctly. Um, but you know, that's also a tough combination to. I mean, the Classy can die quickly. Um, it's back to 80 points. That's good. You know the team path doesn't change. 20 at uh, 1250 points. 1250 points. It's interesting to see that the team paths just have the same point totals, but the solo paths don't. All right. Yeah, there's the balance changes again. The balance changes are dumb. Like nobody asked for these balance changes again. If you have, if you want a detailed um, opinion of me about the balance changes, just watch last week's developer update, Monday update. I mean, from me. <laughs> And uh, yeah, let me definitely know what you think about Alchemist Scott. I'm thinking he might be very strong if you don't place him in a way that he can be inked, then he will be very good. I'm very certain he will be will be very good. Anyways, um, I'm not quite getting it. I mean, 88 area damage at base level and 99 is his base attack. So that means he just does like 10% less area damage than he does normal damage. Is that correct? Um, that's a lot. Like Frontier Bradley's units, uh, boosted units, they do 50% attack, right? So what makes you think that uh, just 10% less is gonna be good enough? Um, um, I'll have to see how it plays out, but I'm thinking it's gonna be very annoying this weekend. Um, and the following following ones when he's boosted. Is he boosted next week? That uh, week? Yeah, next week. No, he isn't. Okay. No, 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 no. It's Shield Maiden Wendy. Okay. From Fantasy. Alrighty then. Yeah. Alchemist God is gonna be a bitch to deal with. But uh, it's another legendary that you. that will take forever to get to decent levels. So it's another one you can only play in events like Sparky and the big ass titty banger quanger. Alright, that's gonna be it for me guys and gals. See you on the flippity flubbity. The um, finale of our championship is coming up tonight. So stay tuned for the video for the finale. And uh, yeah, then again, bye.
Shut up, Mimsy!